Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to give you a skincare breakdown, my morning routine that has been revamped from winter to spring. We made it. And I want to say thank you to Beauty by Design for sponsoring this video. They are bringing this to you and I am working with them to show you my new routine to get my glowing skin, well, I should say to get my skin glowing <laughs> for spring and summer. <laughs> yeah, I need it. Um, yeah, and I've partnered with them before and I love them. They are so unique and great to work with. If you're not familiar with Beauty by Design or you didn't see my previous videos, which I will definitely link in the iCards above, uh, they are a company that provides you a personal esthetician that you can text back and forth with at your leisure, and that esthetician will create a skin scription, which is kind of like a prescription for your skin, um, which will list items that are good for you, uh, a routine that has um, from cleanser to eye cream and anything in between that is suited for your skin. So after you guys have a conversation and fill out a profile and all that good stuff, um, and you can set your budget. There is a number of price points they have a large selection of skin care. This is what they do. So it's not just like a line that has come out and it's like, here's our cleanser and here's our night cream. <laughs> Look, one size fits all. No, it's, they have so many serums. They have so many moisturizers. Uh, they even have some masks and other supplemental products that I'm going to show you. And yeah. So it's pretty great. And if you're picky like me about what's in your skincare, and not necessarily like, oh, it has to be, you know, um, picked from the mountaintops of Switzerland and it can only be touched by three hands. You know, I mean, <laughs> I, uh, I'm not that picky, but I don't want perfume. I don't want denatured alcohol. Um, I don't want ingredients in my skincare that can trigger my rosacea. So Hillary, my esthetician, she and I are very much connected because I go back and forth with her a lot. And then she sent me the link to the online catalog and she was like, do you want to look at that? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. So if you don't want to think twice about it and just tell your esthetician, what you're looking for, what you need. You can pick an entire regimen. You can pick two products. It's up to you. I have a discount code. I will link it below. And yeah, so let's get into it. Winter has been rough. It has been so cold here. I know, right? Seattle, <laughs> who'd have thought? We had 20 inches of snow in February. It only just melted and it's already, we're, we're spring. We're first day of spring, people. So, um, and yeah, it's going to be 70 degrees. So it's kind of like, sure, sure, Mother Nature, make up your mind. So my skin needed something and it was very dry. It felt uh, chapped and just tight. And also I want to go into having, you know, makeup that's like sheer and glowing and pretty and you know, I mean, I love a full coverage, but I thought, you know, it's great if I can help brighten my skin. Obviously, I've got some discoloration. I get redness. Um, so she went ahead and suggested for me, this is the brightening serum. You guys, this serum is amazing. Um, it's number 516. And it is so good for dark spots. It's got ferulic acid in it. You guys, ferulic acid is something you need to be using. And actually, I am going to apply these products because this is the morning. It is when I'm doing this and I haven't put on my uh, skincare yet. So I am going to apply my serum 
and it does have a very faint citrus scent. Um, it is not necessarily an orange oil. It's not something in there that triggers my sensitivity. So I'm just letting you know if that's anything you want to be aware of. I have no issue with it. I've been using this for weeks now and it's done such a good job giving my skin kind of a I want to say pale. I, I look and this is when you have rosacea, you kind of want to look pale. Um, you don't want to have rosy cheeks and all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, I love that it just sinks in. It's good for glowing. It's good for brightening. Let me tell you what's in it. So it's got aloe, of course. It has green tea, it has red tea, it has black tea, it has uh, metafoam seed oil and argan oil. Also, what's great about this, uh, it is sulfite free, sulfate free, sorry, not sulfites, that's in wine. And, um, and it's cruelty free, yay! I go ahead and I put my Condition Calm Moisturizer, this is number 377. This is got cucumber. Its main ingredient is aloe. It is so moisturizing. It has like a, I think it's the cucumber. And it's just so good. I I do my lymphatic drainage. I don't know if you guys saw my Q&A with Hillary back in November, but she explained because a lot of you were asking about sagging skin and like the whole blah, 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 chicken neck. So um, yeah, so she was talking about lymphatic drainage and massage and I am telling you, I have been doing that loyally each day and I'm going all the way up to the, behind the ears where the muscles are there. And I just feel like maybe my waddle is reduced. How about that, right? So that is my new, I was using the number 396 uh, Restore Moisturizer. I still love this moisturizer, it is so awesome. It just also to give you guys, this number 174 is my cleanser. She, uh, Hillary recommended this for me. It's, um, it's got a little bit of a sudsing action to it and I wash my face in the morning, so I like to get everything off from what I've been sleeping with, my drool, my uh, perspiration, the dog hair, whatever, and uh, yeah. So I wash my face. Now something else that you guys, I don't know if you knew they had masks, but this is the number 501, and this will be your best friend for those days where you've either if it's still winter where you are and your face is just dry or if it's now summer and <laughs> you're feeling like, uh-oh, I kind of overdid it and I was outside too long. Masks for me, I can't, I, I like doing actives and I love like glycolics and things like that, but I have to be careful. If I overdo it, my skin can retaliate. This mask is just pure plumping and softening and it just gives my skin, I'm trying, it just gives my skin the comfort and the hydration. It looks like a lotion, like you put it on and it's like a cream and I put it on in the morning and then I just kind of do my thing um, in terms of make the bed and fold a thing of laundry and say how do you guys on Instagram and whatever, you know, and then I, 20 minutes or so, and then I just like rinse it or I just gently remove any residue with a washcloth and oh, I feel like my skin, um, it has like all the, the shea butter and the mango butter. I don't know why I feel like it's also helping, helping with brightening. Um, so it just, it does. I like it and it's great for like a pick me up if you want to freshen up your face, um, you know, and you're putting your makeup on for evening and it just helps to kind of give your skin that, that nice, good 
supple glow. Now, something that is still in my rotation, their eye cream. This eye cream is the number 546 and it is the Rejuvenate and Restore eye cream. And this is such a lovely, also moisturizing, fabulous, has like firming and uh, love it. Now you guys, do not forget sunscreen. Number 554, this is SPF 30. I've been using this for quite some time. This sunscreen, what I love about it is it's thin, it blends into the skin, it does not pill. So if you know what I'm talking about, sunscreen can do great things when you just kind of put it on your face, right? And you go about your day. And then maybe a, you're gonna put foundation on and then you're like, what is happening? And all your sunscreen is just pilling off as soon as it touches another product. And this happens to even really good sunscreens, so a sunscreen that can have all the things you want and be a great protector from UVA, UVB, but, you know, uh, if it pills when you're putting your makeup on, it's, it's useless, so. Anyhow, I love that SPF. It's, you gotta wear your SPF. I've been wearing mine all winter long, especially if you're brightening. If you want to help any of the discoloration, redness, anything that you're dealing with, you have to wear sunscreen because then you're not creating more sun damage, especially if you use glycolics and retinols because they make your skin more sun sensitive. It's not a bad thing, you just need to protect it. So if you're using retinols at night, even wear your sunscreen during the day, if you put on any glycolics during the day, you want to put your sunscreen on too because otherwise you're just going to um, create more brown spots and yeah, you're kind of going to be stuck in a vicious cycle. So that is my morning routine and try not to overdo it. I want to take things slow. Sometimes if a product has any kind of actives in it, whether it's peptides, whether it's um, acids, uh, you want to just kind of alternate and be careful and not overdo it. More isn't necessarily more. Sometimes your skin can freak out. So even a product that's good, don't create, it, it might have an adverse reaction if you use it in, you know, like excess. <laughs> I have a discount code. Uh, follow the link below. I'll list all of my products now just so you know not my, my products may not be what your products end up being But feel free to mention it to your esthetician so that way she can kind of go Oh, yeah that well sure that would be great for this, but maybe you want blah blah blah. You know what I mean? so uh, yeah do that and then I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions um, about stuff I'm using or what I'm doing, feel free. I will answer them in the comments. And yeah, I hope you subscribe to my channel and give that thumbs up a click. And I will see you next time. Bye.